Hello and welcome back to the continued documentation in my happy planner. And so as I mentioned before, I was going to do the month of March. Here we are, um, I think it's the 10th or the 11th of April. So I'm actually a month behind, but I look at it as this way. It's getting done and I appreciate you guys' patience and I hope that you're still inspired uh, to, to continue doing, if you're wanting, or if you're interested in doing this type of project, um, that it's what I find um, for me the most difficult thing to do is to be, um, if I could wrap it up, is to kind of be organized. I mean, so what I found, I'm going to work while I talk too, because basically I've kind of already pulled all the pictures out um, and I've kind of put them in order, um, but we, I went over that in the previous email, uh, the previous email you see where my brain is at it's just crazy it is so scattered but in my previous documentation that I did a few weeks ago I showed um, how I selected my photos and so I went ahead and just kind of did that process um, this week that I'm documenting is actually spring break for us or for my daughter it was and so so that's kind of uh, so I've already like developed the pictures and that's one of the reasons I was a little bit behind is because I had half of the week developed and it just took me forever to do the to put those into my local Walgreens which if you're not familiar with Walgreens um, it's a department it's a drugstore but they do they have you know pharmacy there and then they also have um, photo I'm sorry I'm cleaning my area up while I'm talking but I was hesitant about filming right now because I have several different projects going on on my desktop here and as you can see I have this huge area but this is the only small area I have to work in and I'll show you let me show you what I have going on here so yes this is my space and there we go so yeah as you can see I am very um very very messy and it's maybe causing a shadow but I figured you guys Y'all really don't care that it's messy, right? I'm sure anybody that does paper crafting understands you get messy. It's okay. So, okay. So let me make sure I got it back in the, the film here. I'm working on canvases. I'm working on this cute bunny I want to put in my journal, especially because Easter's right around the corner. Um, what else do I got working on? I'm just working on a wide variety of different things. And, um, you know, so... It's a creator's mind and believe me I am not complaining because I would much rather have a bunch of different things going on than my mind just being totally not knowing which direction and it, it happens it has happened it's where you, I feel unmotivated and so I cherish every second I have that I'm ready to create um, it's just being a little bit more prepared like right now I'm looking for my glue stick I love this too <laughs> And I'm like, oh yeah, I wanted to use that in one of my pages. Um, so let me see if I can find my glue stick. There we go. Here is one back behind there. I always have several of these throughout my desk. But So this week, um, if what my documentation is, is not only was it spring break, we didn't do anything um, eventful at all, really. But my daughter did um, work on making cakes for her 4-H group. Um, she was to make come up with a recipe... And that, and I have to tell you the story, how the story ended is kind of funny, but, um, not the story of making the cakes, but what the story led to, which is to me, life changing event. Maybe not, <laughs> I'll tell you about it, but so with it being cakes, I automatically think sprinkles. She did not make a cake that had sprinkles on it, but to me, um, I had some sprinkle paper and I was looking for it. So I was like definitely going to use that as my scrapbook paper. Um, as I mentioned um, earlier, I always like to cover up that, that little spot over there on the left of the Happy Planner where it has kind of notes. Because this one, since I use as a memory keeping um, planner, I don't necessarily need that note space there. So... This, the reason I, I love this, it came in a kit, I think, a while back. Um, and I want to say it's, it's, um, I don't know who this, I want to say it's Paige, um, 
but I don't know exactly. So I won't say who, who I think it is. The other thing um, I'm putting together is I pulled this out. I know I mentioned it before in one of the last week, the Daffine's Diary, which is a magazine that I get. She's actually publishes this in the UK. Um, but w I, they have it at our Barnes and Nobles. I could have it delivered to our house, but I think it's really expensive because it is got to ship a certain way. So, um, me and my bestie, uh, we always take turns picking it up for each other because we both love her, her magazine. But I, the illustrations and the artwork, and she always has little crafty projects in here. Look how cute this is. I'm gonna have to look at this again. I was hoarding these for years, but then I decided why hoard them when because I I hoarded lots of magazines over this a long period of time and um, I'm just now starting to get rid of them because I don't have any space for any magazines and um, I love hers and so I'm like you know I'm gonna start using them I'm gonna start getting creative with them and using them throughout my journals so that's what I'm gonna be doing with her some of her artwork in here so like I said most of the week here if I had to say what it was mainly about was spring break and cake making. So this one I wanted, this is the actual entry that she did. And so I kind of did a collage of, this should have been over here, but that's okay. I kind of, yeah, it's a little, it's not in any particular order. Let's just say that. So I, so it's like the beginning of the cake, her icing it, icing, and then us eating it. This was such a good cake. And I actually may actually have my, it was my aunt's um, recipe. So I think this was her that actually found it on my scanner. I think I'm going to make a copy of this and put this, actually punch it and put it in here as a way of documenting what she made and maybe write a little note on it or something like that because the life-changing experience is coming up. But what I'm going to do is make a little flip over here and that's one of the reasons why I picked the cake because I wanted to um, to have that on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. This glue stick is not good. It's kind of like old or something and it's not going very smoothly. Let me see if I can find another one. If not, I actually feel like I'm running low on these again. So I need to get back over and get some more, but this one's not going very smooth at all. Let me go see if I can find one. I'll be right. Oh, there's one right over here. Okay. Yeah, that one's like had its better days and it was almost out anyway. So, so I'm just going to come in here and just kind of put the glue here. Isn't that cake beautiful? I need to give recognition what the, who the cake is because it's just not right for me to use the image and then not say who it is so this is the article and it was it says Lauren Delpec from Woodford London L-A-U-R-E-N-D-E-L-P-E-C-H so she makes these beautiful cakes and she did an article so I definitely want to give her credit because that cake is just gorgeous so I think I had pulled out this punch because I thought I'm going to kind of make this edging pretty on there. Pretty cake, pretty edging. And so I, I don't use these punches very often, but I do love the scalloped edge with this, it's like a paper doily. So pretty. So I wanted to use that and kind of add that on here. So I'll get some washi here in just a minute. And then I'm going to add this picture on the back. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm drinking my coffee too, which I think has gotten cold. Something yucky on there. What's on that? It's a piece of glitter or something. Okay. So I'm just going to put this right here. Now I'm going to tip this in. I'm going to get me some washi over here. Got some pink. This is lots of little um, pink washi and 
uh, birthday washi, donuts. I got some donuts on there. Okay, so kind of need a kind of got wishy wash over here and it moved on to one page and didn't quite finish that one up. I just kind of wanted to put this in here and get that taken care of. So I'm going to put that in as a tip in. And what I what a tip in is is if you're not familiar, it's basically where you attach a you tip it in. So you kind of it's I think I've looked it up before because I was curious and um, I needed to know exactly. And I think what a tip in used to be is when they read a book or they were not reading a book or maybe like um, proofreading a book or something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, if not, please don't. I could be wrong. Um, but I think what I realized is it's they would tip in things that needed to be corrected or done differently or added. Maybe that's what it was or added. So, but I love this. I, I think it adds a little something to the pages too because it makes it interactive where you're like, oh, how cute. So, so since I have this page up and we moved that one over there, we're going to kind of work backwards here. So I put this one in here and this is the life changing. This was what I was talking about was our life changing event. Do you see the cutest little dog? That was my aunt's dog. So we had gone over there to pick up the recipe. And my daughter has wanted a puppy for so long. And when we moved to our new home last summer, that was part of the deal was we'll get a puppy, you know. Um, for one, it was making her feel good about the move. And secondly, it... Um, and secondly, you know... I remember a friend of ours saying, every little girl needs a dog. And I'm like, oh my gosh, but a dog is like having a child. It's not like a cat, which my cat's sitting over here. He's got his ears all pulled back like he's listening to my conversation. Boy, are they in for an awakening. They've been the, the king and queen of the household here. And um, they're going to be in for an awakening. But... What basically um, happened is we had told her that, you know, yes, of course, when we move, you're, we're going to be getting a cat, you know, or not a cat, a dog. Well, then we moved, and <clears throat> it's been not quite a year, but I think as I was saying, it's just such a big responsibility, and we're away from the house for so long. I just, you know, I just kind of... I just don't really know. I, I'm ha I'm not. I haven't ever really. I've had a dog, but it never really like was our dog. We had a little, um, which just is a miniature Dotson, and we're gonna be. This is what dog we're gonna be getting to is a miniature Dotson, and um, she basically. Uh, we had one, but it was for such a short time frame because the people that we bought the dog from. My sister was best friends with the daughter, and so when my sister went over to stay the night at the friend's house, she brought the little dog with her because, of course, that's hurt the dog's mom and dad. Well, the mom, the dog's mom and dad was able to get out and run, run around and do things, and they lived kind of close to a wooded area. Well, when our little dog did that, she never came back, and she's about four months old. Oh, my gosh, I was devastated. I remember driving, because I, I was thinking I was a teenager. I was like, I must have been... Yeah, it must have been 16 if I was driving. And, oh, ball haul. I booed and booed. Boo-hooed and boo-hooed for the dog. And we never did find her. So that was kind of my experience as far as, I mean, we had other dogs, but, you know, not really. We weren't really brought up with pets, I guess. We had fish and things. We had a pet goat. <laughs> so, okay, so... Anyway, that's my life-changing event, how the cakes changed. That's the, something definitely worth documenting. Um, now, we don't pick out the dog till next week, but this was her. Of course, I fell in love with the dog, too. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. I fell in love with the dog, too. But basically, um, what I did here was I just to put in the pictures like I typically do. Um, this was Let's Stay Home. I love my Friday nights watching movies. 
Um, this was us walking out to the back of our property and it was so pretty. And so, and putting in the garden. Um, and then this basically, really the only thing that I had documented this week was more, more or less just the cakes. My husband did have a fireman's meeting and he went to, he's a volunteer fireman in our, in our community. And so that was part of the deal there. But um, for Tuesday night, so yeah, those are the stories I'm going to tell this week are cakes, fireman meetings, and puppy dogs. <laughs> oh, and staying home on Friday nights. So I know that a lot of, um, that was one of the questions I've been asked is, you know, what, what do you know to document? And most of the time there isn't a whole lot, but it's just your story. You know, what, what do you have going on in your, um, you know, what, what's going on in your world, whether it's, to me, it could be, even if you're, you never leave the house, um, you know, what, what's going on, what, you know, what entertains you, oh, sorry, we kind of wanted to make that where, layered up, but anyway, so that's kind of how I, that's how I kind of choose the stories, and it's weird how you think one week, especially like, for particular, this, um, I really didn't think I had a whole lot going on. I'm like, oh yeah, it's spring break, you know, but we didn't really do anything. And so, I'm just layering these pictures up here. Okay, so let me get my stickers and see what we have going on. What did I use as I put the donuts? I think I'm going to do the same down here. Just put... more donuts because they have sprinkles. There, kind of keep it consistent. Okay, so let me get some stickers. I think I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do this week is, is fill it in. I think I left my flower stickers that I'm going to go get in at the kitchen table, so give me just a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I realize now why I like to have a clean surface because I have these sticker books and I can't have a place to put them. So I'm just going to have to kind of work with them and then um, put them down when I'm finished. Um, yeah, that needs to be on my to-do list. Clean my desk off. Okay, so I wanted to use a spring break one. I found that one in there. So that way... I'm just going to put it right here, and of course I'm going to talk about it, and then I wanted to use one of my stickers with the Let's Stay Home, since that is one of my favorite things to do is to be at home and this was part of the January um, CWR kits as I wanted to put um, Because that was part of my thing on in um, January was let's stay home and plan and get creative and get the house in order. I have to tell y'all, I think I'm watching a um, Christmas um, Hallmark. I love the one uh, called. Um, this is one of my. I've been using this this little sticker. This is a sticker book I picked up. Fun florals. This last week at Hobby Lobby they had it on sale, but I have already used a ton of this color. And they're, look how beautiful these are. Um, and I've, I'm, I'm always using flowers and bright colors in my... Ooh, that's another pretty one. I'm going to take them out and add them to my binder. I just haven't done that yet. But um, No, going back to the Hallmark movie, the one... Oh, the Shoe Addicts Christmas. I just love that one. It's one of my favorites. And so um, I... Uh, I actually try to watch it, and my daughter's like, it's not Christmas. I said, but I love that one. It's it's kind of a follow your dreams type one anyway, so um, that's one of the reasons why I enjoy it so much. So, I'm just, I'm basically, I'm just going to, this little, this piece of layout, this particular one, I'm just going to add a lot of stickers um, to it. I wanted to add... Um, it's 
look at these cute cards. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. This has been a while. I just found them. And so I want to start using these in my journal. But I pulled those out because I thought, well, I might have a spot there that I can use it in. Um, but again, a lot of this is going to be journaling pages. I wanted to see if I could find a cake. Um, a cake. Uh, this is a cute bloom one. Since we're planting the garden, that may be really cute right there. But I wanted to try to see if I had like a cake icon. Hmm, there may be stickers I need to make. It's some little, I have some cupcakes, I need to make them into stickers. So if I don't have them, that's fine. But I thought I might have a um a cupcake so oh more food more food but no cake okay that's okay so i'm gonna add a few more flowers we're gonna add words and then i'm gonna call that that oh wait those are kitty cats i thought maybe i had a they did have a dog um stickers book but i didn't pick it up tempted i was very tempted to but I think I'm just going to add stickers to this page. And then, voila, week two is done. So, let's just fill it in. Um, I do wish I had, because um, once, oh, this is what I've pulled out. Okay, let's look over here. I had pulled out, this was Bella Boulevard paper. And she had a cake on here, right here, that I was going to use. Um, but I don't think I'm going to have room for it. But in this beautiful paper, so I'll have to wait and use that on another another day. Whenever, um, actually, we could use that big wishes on here. Oh, go on. If, into the conclusion of the cake, my daughter didn't place, which is fine. It was a great experiment for her. Um, they had five different winners, but she didn't place, which that's, that's okay. It was an experiment, and she got, and actually she got to really learn how to make um, some really good icing. And she... Learned how to follow a recipe. It's real interesting because I've been baking since, oh, I don't even know. I remember my mom would let me cook, make cookies at like 10 o'clock at night on the weekends and stuff. <laughs> I mean, she was always so, I now that I think about it, I'm like, that's very interesting that she did that. Because a lot of times I'm like, no, you got to be quiet. The house, you know, and um, not my mom. She said, yeah, you make cookies. I wanted to see if I could find the numbers up here. I know I'm, I was really trying to make this video really short, but if I don't, I'll dig through them and then when I write them in, when I write in my words and I come back, they can be filled in. Look at those stickers. Summer's coming. Not that I'm excited about it. I'm not a summer person because here in Texas it gets so hot, but um, it is a little nice to be more relaxed. Um, okay, well, let me go find those um, number stickers. I think they must be in my planner one. And then I'm going to write in my my stories, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I finished writing in my stories. Um, and I wanted to show you a quick way that I kind of, since my pages are pretty much collaged, I um, what I did on here, I put in like Tuesday, and then I put like a little kind of like a BAM sign around it um, and then that way it kind of uh, shows which days are which. Um, the other thing I did want to say that I broke down and bought me another punch because I couldn't find my other one and I thought I'm going to need it. I need it anyway and so if I get two I have two but um, I used my coupon and or actually I think it was on sale that week but anyway I used it to punch this since I had put this die cut over that punched area there. Um, the other thing, I've kind of made a rule for myself because um, I, and I know a, a lot of memory keeping and scrapbookers and 
I think anybody that does like crafting, I could be wrong unless you're extremely organized, which I'm not. Um, well, I say that. I'm okay. I'm not like, well, I'm messy. <laughs> but if I can't find them, like I was looking all over the place for those number stickers and it was driving me crazy. And so my rule is basically, if I can't find it within a few minutes, I just say, okay, I'm going to go to plan B because... Um, and actually I brought in markers and I just brought them in. Just brought them in and I can't find them. But the plan is, oh there they are. So the plan is, is that if it takes me too long, isn't this bag cute? Cute, cute. And I had made this last year. Um, so I put it on there. I thought it was just added a little something. But if, um, I'm sorry to be scattered here. Um, but basically if, if it takes me, um, too long to find something I don't I'm not gonna dig around for it because it's taken away time of my creating and there's other means of using something else at that time unless it's something that I really really need then I will just wait off on adding it because um, I don't want to spend time digging the other night y'all it was like an hour that I was looking for something and I'm like what is your rule what is your rule and so I'm just and I eventually found it, if I just relaxed a minute and really thought about it, it was um, it was a journal. And I had, it was one of my <laughs> trailers not bugs and I couldn't find it, it was driving me crazy. And I literally wasted a whole hour that I could have been creating. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda just go in here because it is different colors and because I am you don't have to do any of this, but I like to add different colors. And um, since I can't find my numbers, I thought I'll just put my markers and add some color that way. You don't even have to add that, but I thought, you know, this looks pretty cute. I need a blue. So that's my new rule. I'd love to hear what you guys do. Do y'all like, I mean, if you can't find something like I know I've I've looked everywhere for even a um, uh, one little piece of paper that it would work perfectly on something and then I end up finding it a few days later it's crazy so that's what I've kind of come to the conclusion is that eventually everything kind of shows back up and then I will use it then okay so there we have it, week two. Thanks again for being so patient with me. I know um, I hope to get another week in, week inside this weekend. Does that make sense? <laughs> so there we have it. I love it. I love how colorful and literally it was stickers, a few pieces of uh, cardstock, and like one type of washi. And look how pretty it is and tells your story for the week. Alright you guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in our next video.